Welcome to Inware's Simplify SAP Create It Now series. In this video, we will demonstrate how to link Process Runner transaction automation scripts for creating purchase orders and sales orders in SAP. In light blue are the column headers for the data that will be utilized to create multiple purchase orders when our ME21 Create Purchase Order script is executed. As the data gets uploaded, SAP will generate purchase order numbers, which we have designated to write to column M here. In light green are the column headers for the data that will be utilized to create multiple sales orders in SAP based on the purchase order numbers, which will be written to column M. A VA01 Create Sales Order Transaction Automation script will be utilized to create the sales orders. From our start screen and process runner, let's open our ME21 Transaction Automation script which will be our parent file. Here in the home ribbon, we have our setting at use external Excel file, and we have designated the proper Excel file along with the proper sheet name. We have also set our auto status and log column to begin from column Q. Now let's push message and from this SAP returned message setting, select return values mapping. When SAP returns success messaging, it also returns variable values separately. The settings in this screen allow us to directly capture the variable values in the Excel columns of our choice. By selecting map transaction return values to Excel column and write to Excel column as defined below, we are able to designate variable value two from the ME21 success messaging to write to column M in our Excel spreadsheet. Value two is the purchase order number. In the mapper ribbon of Process Runner, we have each of our fields mapped to the appropriate columns in Excel. And if we go from the simple view to the advanced view, we can see that we have implemented looping to handle the multiple line items in our purchase orders. Let's now view our VA01 Create Sales Order Automation Script. First in the home ribbon, we have designated the same external Excel file and spreadsheet which we utilized for the ME21 automation script. Also, our auto status and log column has been set to begin at column S for this VA01 automation script. In the mapper ribbon, we have mapped each of our fields to the appropriate columns in Excel. Notice that our customer purchase order is mapped to column M. If we go to the advanced view, we can see that looping has been implemented for this script as well. Now that we have confirmed our mapping for both scripts, let's go back to the parent ME21 script and from the home ribbon, let's select Process Connection. Now in this Process Connection menu, we keep our default setting of local here, and then click on this folder navigation button to find our VA01 automation script. On the left side of Process Runner, we can see now that our ME21 script is linked to our VA01 script. By keeping these boxes under Use the following settings for all downstream connections at their default selected setting, we are causing the VA01 script to utilize the same Excel file, the same tab, and the same start row value and end row value as has been designated in the parent ME21 file. So regardless of the setting we have in the VA01 script, 
either for iBook or external Excel file, checking these boxes automatically causes the VA01 script to utilize the same Excel file and tab in Excel as the parent file does. Now we press save to save these settings and push run to execute both of these transaction automation scripts, one right after the other. After logging into SAP, first the ME21 transaction automation script executes, immediately followed by the VA01 transaction automation script. Let's take a look at our Excel spreadsheet. Here in columns Q and R, we see the results of the ME21 transaction automation script. And if we scroll over just a bit, we can see the results of the VA01 transaction automation script. Let's bring up our SAP GUI and enter ME23 and bring up our first purchase order. Our purchase order was successfully created. Now let's enter VA03 and bring up our first sales order. Here we have our purchase order number generated by the ME21 script and each of the line items from our sales order. This has been a quick walkthrough of how to link create purchase order and create sales order transaction automation scripts utilizing Process Runner. To learn more about simplifying SAP and other features of Process Runner, please visit our website at inaware.com. Thank you for watching.